Yesterday, we released a video explaining the Philadelphia experiment. If you haven't seen that video yet, there's a link on screen now and also in the description for mobile users that I suggest you actually go and watch before watching this video, because this video is based around a project that follows that experiment. So today, we're going to be explaining the Phoenix project and exposing the links it has with Call of Duty Zombies. Codename Pizza, ready to game. In yesterday's video, we learned that the Philadelphia Experiment ended in 1943 due to the dramatic outcome of the crew going insane. The Phoenix Project is what followed that. The study began in Brookhaven National Laboratories on Long Island, New York. Meet John Von Neumann. He held a massive part in the creation of the first digital computer, but with this invention came hunger. Hunger to push this digital computer to the next level. Newman had access to the enormous resources the military held, including a vast database of Nazi psychological research that the US had acquired after World War II. With this in mind, Newman decided to attempt something radical, something completely new. He wanted to couple computer technology with sophisticated radio equipment in the attempt to link people's minds with machines. After years of research and tests, Newman states that human thoughts could eventually be received by sophisticated radio receivers and could even be relayed onto his computer, which could store the thoughts in terms of informational bits. This information could in turn be displayed on a computer screen and even printed out on a piece of paper. This was a great start to a very sinister plan. The principles were developed and the techniques were enhanced until a virtual mind reading machine was constructed. At the same time, technology was developed so that a psychic could think a thought and that thought would be transmitted out onto a computer and potentially affect the mind of another human, ultimately obtaining the mind of another human to have complete mind control. Over the years, researchers perfected their mind control techniques and continued to delve further into the far reaches of the human potential. The project then reached an amazing milestone. A human hooked up to a computer could think a thought and that thought could create an illusion. So basically using hardware, a person's thought could come to life right in front of them. So if someone thought of a glass of coke, a glass of coke would appear. But researchers weren't going to stop there. They thought what would happen if someone thought of a glass of coke appearing yesterday. It was a thought which made scientists believe that they could actually bend time itself. After even more years of intense research, time portals were opened. These time portals apparently used the same technology as the USS Eldridge used during the Philadelphia experiment. This time portal was apparently a vortex back to 1943. So, why does this story have anything to do with Call of Duty Zombies? Well, let's have a closer look at the Nat Gurren Totem loading screen from Black Ops 1. On the right hand side we see 1943, which is the date that this portal apparently had a vortex going back to, and if you look at that, there's also a portal underneath. The whole of this project was based around brainwashing humans, using humans and computers as one, and we see that depicted in the photograph at the bottom. Could this all be coincidence? Maybe. But seeing as we have no explanation for the story behind this loading screen yet, I think the Phoenix Project is definitely as close as we're going to get until someone finally reveals the true story behind zombies. And even if it's not, it's still a damn cool story to tell. We upload every single weekday, so make sure you subscribe if you're brand new and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching guys, and peace out.